Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing with you how to make zucchini bread at home. It is summer here in Texas. Our garden has had so much zucchini. It's been the easiest thing for us to grow and we have way too much of it. So I recently started making zucchini bread to help not waste it. And it's really easy. All the ingredients I already had at home, except one special ingredient that I went to the store and bought. You just need some zucchini. There's lots of variations of these recipes, but this is the one that I found to be the easiest. So I'm gonna show y'all how to make it, all the instructions, and everything is gonna be in the description box if you need it. So let's get into the video. All right, so I have a pretty large zucchini, um, enough to probably make like six loaves of bread. You're gonna place it over a bowl and we're gonna grind up two cups of zucchini. Okay, so if you have a food processor at home with a shredder on it, you can totally do this way faster. I don't have a food processor, so I just use my cheese grater and it worked just as fine. It's just a little bit more of manual labor. Okay, so I've got about two cups. It's about two and a half, but honestly, like if you put in a little bit more than two cups, it's totally fine. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my KitchenAid. Um, you don't have to use a KitchenAid mixer, but if you have one, I would recommend it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So we're gonna add all of the wet ingredients together first, and then we will do the dry, mix it all together. All right, we're gonna start with three eggs. Um, we're gonna do three fourths a cup of vegetable oil. One tablespoon of vanilla. Your zucchini. We are gonna do a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of baking soda. All right, and then we're gonna do one whole tablespoon of cinnamon. You don't wanna forget this part. This is what helps it um, have a, like a hearty flavor, if that's the right word, like a warm flavor. All right, and now we're gonna do two cups of flour. Thank <laughs> you. 
And now we need one and a half cups of sugar. I like to use this from Aldi. This whole entire bag is like $5. It's pure cane sugar. And then the secret ingredient is cranberries and walnuts. However, I don't have walnuts today, but um, if you do cranberries, I'm gonna do just a handful of each, and then you would do a handful of walnuts as well. This is gonna make two loaves. We are gonna spray it. You want to make sure whenever you are cooking the bread that it is completely centered in the middle of the stove sorry I mean oven and that your rack is in the middle as well so mine's a little too high and I can't fit it so I'm moving it down a notch and you want to preheat the oven to 350 Here it is, nice and cool, delicious. I like to put butter on it. Um, you can even put honey on it and it tastes really, really good. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Give it a try and let me know in the comments how it turned out for you. I've always wanted to make chocolate zucchini bread too, but I never have. So if you have a recipe for that, let me know. Or if there's just something I can add to this, let me know and I'll try that too. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Bye.